Welcome to Arm Animation. In this video, we will uh, work with VFX. I will be converting these sequences into something different. Right now, we are waterfall. It's not ready for production, but it is ready to uh, show you how to create it. I mean, the idea is you learn how to think out of the box when you work with VFX. I mean, it's not obvious that you can create a waterfall from this or something similar. It can be a beam of energy shooting from the app if you just take this portion and resize it this way. You can clearly get a totally different effect. I mean, also this can go up. Anyway, you get the idea. So it's, it's really a matter of being creative. And today we will be learning something about that. Now let's jump into the new fresh project and do it. So I already meshed them. I am not going to waste your time on doing it, but I just want to pay attention on the rings to create that you just drag and obviously move with the mouse. But these rings can help me right now to grab them easily. And yeah, with shift held, you can click on the ring and you can add it to selection. And if you want to add another ring to that selection, you just hold the shift and control and that will add or distract. So along the way, I'm going to use this selection a lot. Now I am going to use the new feature of the spine to create an animation sequences. So it will a little bit complicate my, my workflow, but I really want you to get used to it because uh, sometimes it is uh, much easier to do that way. I mean, it doesn't work good for VFX, but let's try with this new feature. Great. Now let's first take this sequence, convert it to sequence. We right away see missing image because we need to delete the index since we are going to introduce it in this field one. And I know the how many of the sequence we have. The frames, 43. Let's check it here. Exactly, 43. And now I just need to go. Oh, we have some frames here. Let's delete them. I just need to go and key the looping. Uh, let's change the FPS to 30 and add a frame, empty frame, or it's not an empty, but the frame so we can expand timeline. Now we see it playing. Great. Let's right away deform it. So we have an um, energy cone, which is great. But do we need a cone? No. We need to make those rings equal. Equality. And we have a flowing. Um, let's assume it's water. Now we need to move this up. Uh, and move this this way. And we have some kind of water flowing. Maybe this could go down. Yeah. And actually, I'm going to duplicate this one as well. And I, I want to see you to see that there it's not the end. We can actually modify the same sequence to get clearly different effect. Let's get back to here, reset it. Bring it back, scale it back down and see you know, here is it. So it can work as a ripples. Great, right? Now let's do even more. Let's go duplicate this and bring it here. And we have more ripples. Obviously, we can offset them, but I'm not going to do it now. I want to create uh, actually water that comes out out of the impact. Great. Can you see it? 
I guess you can. I also want to move this a bit lower. It looks like it ends abruptly. We don't need that. So we have water, but that water seems like to end and start over. We don't need that. We need to loop this whole sequence. Uh, actually, let me add this one as well. And later we can actually loop it. I need to, let's start from the noise. I need to convert it to sequence, delete the index, great, and add it here. I know already how many we have it. And it's almost the same we are going to do here. Almost the same, basically the same. It's just uh, not going to flow. Instead, it will be our edge of the water when when it bends when it actually bends too wide too narrow Yeah, I think we have it. Now we need to animate it. Just select it, hit loop, and that's it. It's ready. Maybe increase the uh, increase the speed. And so now you can see that it was easy to use this um, this new feature of the spine sequences. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. So let's practice. And let me grab the other one. I mean, it's the same, just a matter of trying it again, once again. So convert it to, let's remove it, convert it to sequence and one and 16, I guess. Double check, yeah, 16. Back to animation, kid set to uh 30 frames or or actually i need to set it to 23 i guess i need it so the idea is that we don't see the frames here how when they end i mean the cycle ends so you need to much uh stretch it i mean it's 16 frames, it's not 43 as the original one. So you need to find the FPS that actually works well for you. Hey, did I mess up here? Yes, I did. Great, so you need to make sure that 16 frame ends here. And that way you can work next uh, on the loop. So you can see, we see on the 42, the first image, maybe we need to make it 22 or even 24. Uh, not here, sorry, here, 22. Yeah, it's, it's looking great. We can see some dots, but let's not concentrate on that. So the idea is without with old version of sequences, you could easily do it with just seeing how long it ends. But now you don't see. Maybe later I will come up with better solution. But right now I am sure that this sequence takes 43 frames to um, start over. And that means I can continue working on it, just modifying as I want. And let's grab everything and scale them to match the perspective. You can select the mesh tools and just add even more perspective to it. Just so you know, I just showing you. Doesn't matter now. And now let's see what we can actually do with it. We can do basically the same as we did the previous one. We can, you can see it's a, it looking like a, a little fountain, fountain. So, but we we can maybe just 
add it to the flow. It will be tedious work, but I don't know. I hope you can wait for it. That looks nice. Let lower this one. Yeah, so this is definitely needing some looping as well. And with same approach, you can go and create ripples from it. I'm pretty sure it will work. But right now, I don't want to spend your time here. You just go and do it yourself. And you can see that it ends. There is some end of the water. We, we really don't need that. So what we can do with it, uh, I want to delay uh, loop all the selected um, slots. I don't want to loop noise. It's already looping. We don't need that. So for that, I will be duplicating the slots and overlapping them. But before I need to um, fade in and fade out, create fade in, fade out effect for current slots. For that, uh, let's separate alpha so we only see that. Uh, let's uh, move all to zero frame. Here at 100% visibility, we continue here with full visible and here it, things go down. So you can see how it works. Here we have 100% visibility. You can see it doesn't go up or it doesn't go low. But right now we need to fill up this section. So uh, the other slot should raise here match the 100% visibility here and continue with 100%, come here and continue with 100%. And then while we are sure that the first one is here right now, the 100%, the second one goes down. So to match that, I already know how to do it. So I will just show you how to do it. So I don't know. You just take these frames and move forward five frames, take these frames and move forward five frames or three frames, whatever works for you. And you need to copy these frames to first to zero frame because right now it will show the setup mode frames. And things should working right now, except we need to offset them. For that, I will go and offset them manually 22 22 at uh, this number I get from the total amount of the frame so I know that the the frames are 43 so I divide it by two and just set it here so the last one I already know that it's uh, 16 frames so I need to set it to uh, to eight And we have a looping waterfall. Um, yeah, this was it for this video. Uh, let me know if you learned something and subscribe to not miss the next polls about which video I should make uh, the next. Thank you. Bye.